Final 600 customers who were without power since Monday saw their lights finally come on at about 4 o'clock or shortly before that this afternoon. Some of them wasted no time at all in getting back to business. Good food, good drink, good friends, all part of what makes Chinatown so special. And tonight, small pockets of it managed to ramp back up and push dishes out in a matter of hours. Your lights came on a little before 4 o'clock and you're open. Yeah, we've been uh, waiting for this moment all week. McCarthy says when the power finally came back on, the entire staff was energized. And by 6 o'clock, FET was already packed. So we opened up our reservations as soon as we could, um, get some people in here. A lot of regulars support us and then a lot of foot traffic in the neighborhood seeing as uh, some of our neighbors haven't uh, managed to get open quite yet. I wanted to meet my good friend Paula and we were walking downtown and we happened to walk by and see that it was open. We love this place and so we came and sat down. Can you appreciate the amount of work and stress these people have gone through to put this meal in front of you? I can't imagine what their day was with the electricity coming on and off and having to save food and, and seeing what they could keep and what they couldn't keep, so I'm very grateful for this meal. Just down the road, Murphy's Bar and Grill was also one of those last 600 customers to have power restored. But Murph says opening tonight would have been too much. We've got probably about 10 coolers, the big coolers, with product in their ice down, so in the morning we had to come in and go through those and see what's still good and what isn't. And with the power back on, you could see Chinatown coming to life right before your eyes. People were back on the sidewalks, walk-ins looking for a place to eat, and food being delivered to multiple restaurants in anticipation of what's expected to be a huge Aloha Friday and weekend. What have these last four days been like? Oh, it's, it's been interesting. You know, it's 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 it's. A sad deal, uh, but you know, it's been we've tried to help out and feed some people and everything, so that's that's worked out. Been a long week, it certainly has. It's uh, hard when you got to keep food at the right temperatures, but uh, I think we've managed to do it well. And in the wake of the recent outages, community members are being urged to take part in a walk this Saturday to bring attention to the local businesses. The hope is to help those impacted by the outages. The walk begins at the new Inspiration Hawaii Museum on Richard Street. It ends at Keikalike Mall. It'll be held Saturday from 9 to 11 and then stick around. Of course, all the restaurants will be open for lunch and later on through dinner.